A paradox is a statement or situation that contains a self-contradiction or a contradiction between seemingly true statements. It is a logical puzzle that defies our understanding of seemingly logical concepts and our expectations of how the world works. Paradoxes are important because they can reveal the limitations of our understanding and our language. They can highlight the ways in which our thought processes and beliefs can lead to logical contradictions and inconsistencies. They can also lead to new discoveries and insights into the nature of reality and the way we think about the world. In this video today, we're going to be talking about five fascinating paradoxes that have puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. First up, we have the liar paradox. The liar paradox is a statement that creates a self-referential contradiction. It is a statement that says, this sentence is false. If the sentence is true, then it must be false. And if it is false, then it must be true. This creates a logical contradiction that has puzzled philosophers and logicians for centuries. Let me give you an example. The sentence that I'm speaking is a lie. This statement asserts that it is not true. But if it is not true, then it must be true, creating a contradiction. Next up, we have the paradox of the heap. The paradox of the heap is a classical example of the problem of vagueness. It arises from the question of when does a collection of grains of sand become a heap? If we add one grain of sand to a heap, it's still a heap. But if we remove one grain of sand from a heap, it's still a heap. So where is the threshold at which the heap becomes not a heap anymore? This paradox highlights the difficulty of determining the boundaries of concepts that are not clearly defined. The third paradox in our list is the paradox of the arrow. This paradox is also known as Zeno's paradox and it states that in order for an arrow to reach its target, it must first travel half the distance. But before it can travel half the distance, it must first travel half of that distance and so on ad infinitum. This creates the impression that motion is an illusion. The fourth paradox that we'll be talking about is the paradox of the omniscient being. This paradox states that if a being is omniscient or all-knowing, it would know the future, including its own actions. But if it knows its own actions in advance, it cannot have free will. This paradox creates a logical contradiction between the idea of an all-knowing being and the concept of free will. Let me give you an example. Imagine a being that knows everything that will happen in the future including its own actions. If it knows its own actions in advance, it cannot have free will, as it is predetermined to do something. Last but not the least, we have the ship of Theseus paradox. This paradox asks whether a ship that has had all of its parts replaced over time is still the same ship or a different ship. The question is whether something that has undergone a gradual change in its parts can be considered the same thing as it was before. In physics and mathematics, paradoxes can also be used as a tool to question and challenge current theories and may lead to the development of new theories and models that better explain the phenomenon. Theoretical physicist Richard Feynman has defined paradoxes in the most simple and thought-provoking manner possible. He defined a paradox as a conflict between reality and your feeling of what reality ought to be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want to watch more such videos on physics, mathematics, philosophy and theology, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.